Hello everybody, this is episode 82, day 91 of our Grand Island Adventure. With the chimneys cleared and the stairs in place, Ewan now tackles the wardrobe space between the two upstairs rooms. He also makes space for his six foot four self to navigate the stairs safely. Good morning everyone, it's week 14, day 1, Monday, and today's job is going to be removing this section of uh, this section of cavity wall and this section as well that'll just leave me two solid walls the reason I'm doing this is because one, that bit's too low and two, I want to make this look better um, the way I'm going to do it will mean that instead of just having a small wardrobe here it was going to be making use of that space there that was not being used at all so what i shall do there is make the wardrobe bigger okay but the main thing is getting all this down so that uh i can get under walk under there easily without it to my head so that's the first job making sure i've got that done i don't know how this water tank is seated on top of here I will have to start taking away some of this ceiling here uh, which means that my steps are going to get very dirty today so what I've decided to do is <coughs> use the old curtains that I haven't got round to throwing away yet and I'm going to put the curtains over the stairs wherever they are there they are look put those curtains over the stairs so that anything that comes down is not going to unduly mark them so uh, hopefully things should be uh, going pretty quickly with this obviously i'll have to get the hammer out and the saw and whatnot but with a bit of luck that'll come down quite easily and then i can start planning on see if i'm coming up here already already this line's too low for my head but, like this, probably isn't, maybe that is, that there. So what I'm probably going to have to do is start stepping this up. Just to this area anyway, so I mean I'm approximately that height. So I'm going to need it up way up here somewhere. So if I get to the top of the stairs, there's my mark, I'm going to need it up here somewhere. So I've got plenty of room and then I can start building up the wardrobe so that my head's clear anyway. So it may it may turn out that I extend this board by that much and then come up and then come up and then come up. Uh, I've only got I've only got from there to there to bring it up so that I can clear my head going up. I don't think I'm going to get many more people taller than six foot four up in this house, so uh, we'll see how that goes anyway. Obviously I've still got all of that to get rid of as well because there's still some chipboard under that. So anyway, I'll start by taking these side pieces down and then get the uh, backboard down and we'll see how we go from there. Okay, I've been at this now for about 20 minutes and uh, I've got this section of cavity off and I finished off that section of cavity there What was that? Oh yeah So I finished that and uh, I've also disassembled the cold water tank and all the piping that goes with it so all that we're left with now, up here, is uh, the cavity. The uh, can you make out a top half of a door there? If you can, that's what the cold water tank was resting on. Half a door. So here we have the hatch for the uh, loft access. That's in really good condition, so that's going to stay on. This is where the cold water tank was. I would imagine if that was full today, 
or should I say, if that had been full today, resting on that half door, it wouldn't have taken long for it to spill all over the stairs. So anyway, I uh, partially covered the stairs with a pair of velvet curtains because I didn't want any damage to occur to my stairs. Uh, but as you can see, all the plasterboard came down anyway, so I'll have to just sweep it and see what the damage is. Probably not much, you know, a bit minimal. So now I'm going to take the whole of this out, start again afresh, do it properly. I've got uh, several bits of wood there that were used to space out for putting the wardrobes in. They're coming off. I'm just going to be uh, anchoring to that joist there and to this joist here. But in all honesty, I'm going to uh, screw another piece of joist to this joist anyway, and same over there. Uh, this this needs to come out, but before I take this out, I need to put another one below it. I'm going to probably coach bolt another one to it, or maybe just get some uh, some good screws in, good long screws in, because. Uh, that's got woodworm there, so I want that piece out. This flimsy piece of thing here that's holding that joist up, that's coming out and a new piece putting in. This one is doing, I nearly swore then, this one is doing nothing. And the others are all just flimsy pieces of wood. So I've got some really good quality wood downstairs. I'm going to uh, re-anchor those cross pieces to the joist to make sure that they're in really good condition and really secure and I'm going to work my way all the way along I'm not going to do that site today because I've still got all that stuff to pull down which involves me moving all my tools into here and then starting to pull that down so I'm, I can do that later on in the week or maybe tomorrow or wherever so I've got that to do so uh, I've got to concentrate on pulling that wall down today and uh, perhaps securing all of these to the joists because damn as uh, will smith would say in men in black this is just damn i don't know if you can tell that the uh, joists aren't level anyway the board and, and whatnot maybe because it's not anchored to that one there you know i mean I'm so glad I'm doing this properly because I will have peace of mind that, you know, the roof's going to stay on. I mean, how it's managed to last 22 years like this is beyond me. It's, I don't know. I just got to make sure it's a lot stronger than this. And from what I can see, all the other cross pieces look like they're in good condition. It's just this one that's... Uh, um, got woodworm in it. In fact all the other joist pieces, cross pieces, look like they've been used, made with treated wood anyway. Whereas that is just a piece of spare timber they've had somewhere and just chucked it up because they ran out. So anyway, I'll get cracking on with that once I've got this piece down. Okay everyone, it's sunny outside. This is video number three today. I've made a bit of a mess on the floor in the bedrooms. Let's just have a quick look at the mess. I'm really sorry about this guys, it's, uh, it was an accident, it was a complete and utter accident, I'm really sorry. Uh, I made a little bit of a mess on the landing as well, and uh, I made a bit of a mess here as well, sorry, um, I don't know what came over me. Um, yeah, well there you go, so that was the wall, the partition wall. So what I'm going to do is clear up all the mess that I've made accidentally and uh, clear up that trough there because that needs filling in, clear up that there because some of that needs filling in, I need to put one of them boards across there again like I did when I built these walls up and uh, get some compo in there, get some compo in here and uh, oops. Uh, yeah, well, I've got something solid to work to now. I've got a, a nice solid straight bit there. And I've got a kind of a semi-straight bit here. But not to worry. 
I can drill some holes and put some nice strong pieces of wood up here and up here and I'm going to uh, partition this off properly a bit stronger than that because it just fell down I don't know what happened I just like reached out and it just went boof so uh, yeah I'm going to clean this up and uh, I'll do another video a bit later on hey everybody this is video for today I'm putting the waste in my uh, wheelbarrow there I've just uh, I peeled away the curtains from the stairway put them back over there I picked out all these little wood bits anything that anything that's not a wood bit gets uh, thrown away I'm taking all the wood bits from what was up there on that panel and I put them in a corner in the corner here and pile and uh, basically I'm burning some of this stuff I'm burning it mainly because I want to see the fire working and I come in here and it's warm I mean it's a sunny day well it's a kind of sunny day there is some sunshine there look the clouds are broken so there is sunshine it is a warmer day today than it has been for a while but I thought you know what I'm going to get the fire going um, now you might be thinking there's a lot of paper here and a lot of wood there that could be dangerous to the fire or well, the fire could be dangerous to the wood and paper but Pat gave me a fire guard yesterday so I put the fire guard up and it's safe because it's not made of chocolate so that's going to be keeping that wooden paper safe while I busy myself tidying up here once I've got this section tidied then I can start walking up the stairs and pulling some of this down into a into a bucket uh, and then I can start cleaning up on the floor in the bedrooms because now that I've got this pulled down I can start putting stuff back up again uh, and then once I've got that panel up properly where I want it then I've got to move all my tools out of that bedroom put them into this bedroom and start pulling all that plasterboard down so I'm going to carry on with this uh, if this is going to keep me going for a, an hour or so maybe a, a couple of hours so I'll carry on doing this and I'll uh, do another video later on okay well it's uh, 10 to 7 p.m and I've uh, been working in the house all day so it's going to be getting dark soon I've uh, got this far built so this much built so far um, basically the, uh, the wardrobes are going to be here and then they're going to slope up here so the wardrobes are going to be as wide as that and um, that'll make plenty of room for clothing I think and shoes and whatever else you want to put in there bearing in mind that uh, there has to be a separator wall in the middle that has to be double insulated to stop any noise going through um, I've still got to put some stuff over here I've got a nice big piece of board to put down here and then it's got to be uh, insulated and lined at the other side I still haven't got round to doing any of this today so I'll have to do that in the morning so uh, yeah I've got all this done I've got a gap there that has to be filled with cement and rubble so any any large rocks I've got I can put some cement in and then drop some rocks in and put some more cement and more rocks and that same goes at this side and I've just put the hardboard there just to stop the rocks from going out that way I'm gonna to have to put some hardboard at this other side with a another pair of them in as retainers and then that can be filled with that uh, filled with cement and such and then uh, that will then give me enough headroom because when I when I build this part up here to match that then there'll be a board coming across from underneath there 
to underneath there, all the way across, at that side. Oh, you can't tell from my hand, it's just a, it's just a silhouette. Um, I may give you a better description of it tomorrow, or you'll just see it go up. But I'm knocking off now because uh, I've been on this all day. So let me see what can I unplug here. I can unplug the drill and the stereo. And let's just have a quick look at how much battery power I've used on my tablet. Oh, not very right much, look, just a little bit. Yep, yeah, that's fine. Shut that off. No, I don't want to power it off. What is it doing? Okay. There you are. Right, that's all for now. Okay, so I'm done here. I'm just going to uh, leave this mess for me to do tomorrow. But basically what we have is this piece here will be filled with concrete and stuff and then there'll be a board coming straight down there like that and then I don't know I'm about that high so it'll be coming down like that there you go like that and it'll be completely missing me I've, I've measured that I measured this line here at seven foot so I've got plenty of headroom uh, fire still going up and why did I okay so uh, I've had the guard on quite a bit today because it spits and stuff this uh, this thing stuff spits and crackles so rather than it hitting the carpet I just left the guard on which means the room hasn't got as warm as it could have done but at least I haven't burned the fire down I burned the house down so that's it for me today I am now going to cook my tea and chill out pop down to Pat's a bit later on after I've had my tea and uh, have a natter with him for an hour or so and I'll catch you again tomorrow Thank you for coming along with us. That's Ewan and Phoebe Wilby on our island renovation journey. If you want to be notified of updates and new videos as they are uploaded, please remember to click the subscribe button below and then hit the bell. Also, we love company, so feel free to share our YouTube channel with your friends. The more the merrier. And please leave us a comment if you wish. We'd love to hear from you. See you next time. Our love to you all.